And we begin tonight with breaking news out of Dauphin County. Two shootings in two hours at John Harris High School during a basketball game with a CD East. That's right. The first shooting sent a 20 year old to the hospital with a neck injury. The second shooting was witnessed by our very own Annie McCormick. She joins us live tonight with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom kicking off our live team coverage. Annie, police think the second shooting was a retaliation to the first one. Tanya, that's right. That's something that they're investigating at this time tonight. It's kind of surreal when it happens right next to you. I heard shots fired just a couple feet away from me here on the steps of John Harris High School. I smelled some smoke, but I actually thought it was from a starter pistol or from a cap gun. Well, let me set this up for you. We actually responded out here to the call of shots fired for a, the first shooting, which we were told injured a 20 year old. He has injuries to his neck and was taken to Hershey Medical Center. It was while we were out here interviewing witnesses that we heard about five shots fired around this area. There are also reports that maybe shots were fired in a different area of the parking lot. Immediately, we saw a group of young men bum rush a police officer that was standing guard at the door over there. They yelled at the officer, we're being shot at, we're beating shot at, let us in. The officer did let them in. Then take a look at this video, which we're going to show you. This is video of the same people who were told were persons of interest being taken out. Cops immediately responded to the second call of shots fired only an hour after the initial shooting happened. There were about six cop cars that came up. It was a flurry of activity. Several news crews here running around the area at the time trying to figure out exactly what happened. Well, take a look at this picture that we have of these two people of interest, we're told, in the first shooting. We we're also told that they're possible victims in the second shooting because again police are investigating at this point that it could be a possible retaliation to the first shooting. Well, we actually spoke to them in between the shootings asking them about the initial one. Here's what they had to say. So what did you hear happen? See, uh, mm, yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? He had a little altercation and shit. Um, well, so you, no, so no. you heard there's a shooting in the parking Obviously, that was an interview I wasn't planning on using until we found out their possible involvement in this case. At this point, there are only people of interest in this. Police do want to talk to them. At this time, as far as the condition of the 20-year-old, we don't have an update at that of, the, of that. We do know that he is at Hershey Medical Center tonight, and we don't have any information about any possible suspects in custody at this point. Also, as far as the administration here at John Harris High School, we have reached out to numerous people tonight. In fact, we even walked up to a number of people who we were told worked here at the high school during the game to ask them what they were telling parents. Parents in the parking lot told us that they were hearing nothing, so we're still waiting to hear back from them. If you have any information, though, about anything that has happened here tonight, you are urged to call Harrisburg Police. For now, we're live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg. Annie McCormick, CBS 21 News. A story that really continued to unfold throughout the night. Well, CBS 21's Chris Fisher was inside the gym when those first shots were fired. He was there covering the game between Harrisburg and Central Dauphin East and witnessed the reaction from fans when that second shooting happened, the shooting that Annie McCormick heard just feet from her. He continues our live team coverage tonight with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg. Chris, what did you see? Well, I arrived at Kimber Gymnasium just after 8 o'clock, and I noticed four squad cars parked out here in the parking lot. When I went up to the doors to walk in, I noticed that the facility was on lockdown. Officers stopping and blocking the doors for no one being able to enter the game. Now, when I finally did get in the game, around the fourth quarter between Central Dauphin East and Harrisburg, a very frantic scene as people started to vacate the stands. Officers approached some gentlemen within the stands. The gentlemen tried to walk away from them, could not escape where the officers were taking them as they were led out of the building. And as you just saw from the piece from Andy McCormick, they left the facility. They are considered people of interest. Now to tell you, as people frantically started to leave the stands, it was a scary scene to say the least. Everyone completely caught off guard. People I spoke with before this scene did not care to discuss the initial gunshot that they heard. Officers did tell me there are always two officers on patrol during a Harrisburg high game. When Central Dauphin East and Harrisburg do play, there is a history of violence. Just a year and a half ago at a football game, there was seven juveniles arrested with a loaded handgun found. One officer did go on to tell me later this evening when these two schools play each other, there's always a fear of definitely the unknown and some violence. Reporting in Harrisburg with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom, Chris Fisher, CBS 21 News.
All right, Chris, thanks. We're glad they're both safe. Uh, these schools do have a history of a rivalry. CBS 21 Sports Director Jason Bristol filling me in that uh, back in 2010 at a football game, seven juveniles arrested and a loaded handgun confiscated. We don't know if tonight's shooting had anything to do with the rivalry between exactly. schools. The investigation is still very early on, but again, uh, what close calls. Just for an unbelievable series of events that unfolded there tonight with our reporters being there mm -hmm. and, and it, you know, we don't get to actually be in the mix of these stories that we cover, but tonight Annie McCormick and Chris Fisher certainly were. If you want to see any of the video that we have uh, aired for you tonight, you can do so on our website, CBS21.com. And of course, as Annie mentioned, they are looking for people of interest. If you have any information, please call Harrisburg Police.